Hi everyone, Samantha here from samanthawilsonart.com where you can find contemporary art and specialized art courses. Today's tutorial is a little exciting because it's going to be an introduction to portraiture drawing. I'm going to be taking you through step by step how to structure the features of the face from various angles right the way up to shading. This one is just a little taster just to get you started. So without further ado, let's jump right in. For this, you're going to need drawing paper, willow charcoal, a charcoal pencil, putty eraser, and a blending stick. And we're going to begin with drawing a loose egg shape for the face. Split the shape in half with a line through the middle for the eyes. Split the shape again with a line through the middle for the nose. And split the shape one more time with a line through, through the middle for the lips. And using the line for the eyes and the nose, we can roughly place in where our ears will go. And using four simple dots or lines, we will begin to place the eyes. And they should be equidistant between each other. And we can draw two lines directly down the face to help us place where the nose and the lips will lie. Draw two simple egg shapes to position the eyes and place in the nose two pupils or irises and roughly place in the lips with a zigzag in the middle a little zigzag at the top and a semi oval for the bottom and then you can loosely place in the ears and softly redefine some of the outside of the face. So for the next one we're going to do a semi-side portrait and the middle line will be on a slight curve. The eyes will be directly in the middle of the head and the nose if you split the shape again then split the shape again to place the lips and place in loose egg shapes for the eyes and a circle for the iris loosely place in the nose like this and the lips a couple of simple zigzag shapes and a semi half semi circle for the bottom you can loosely give the cheek more definition and make the skull more round and the chin the ear will be directly between the eyes and the nose i'm just removing any working out lines to redefine making it ready for shading add some eyebrows redefining and this time the portrait is going to be completely side on split the head in half for an eye line again and split twice more for the nose and the lips. Place a simple egg shape for the eye and loosely map out the side of the face. The ear is eye and nose level. And you can see they're quite simple shapes just to get a rough base for a more detailed drawing later. You can redefine any section you want and get the shape of the head more defined. So for this one we're going to draw a face looking down and the first thing is is to place in the eye line a little bit more than halfway down because this time the features have got to be in the more close together in the bottom half of the head. The eyes of course at the top, then the nose, and then the lips third way down. Can place in the ears at the eye and nose line and reduce the size of the head if it's looking too big and just refine a little bit remove the excess of the head and there you have an initial stage for a face looking down and this one is going to be similar except it's going to be opposite the face looking up so again start with your egg shape and this time do the same except put your lines closer to the top instead of closer to the bottom to place your eye and the nose 
and the lips so that the chin is larger. So for this one, we're gonna do a sidewards on slightly diagonal positioning. The features will be placed closer to the right side of the head and the middle line can swoop diagonally around to help you place the features evenly. Place in the eyes loosely in little egg shapes and the nose and lips as always along the two feature lines that you've placed. Then you can go around and redefine the side of the face, placing the ear along the eye and nose line and just redefining, getting ready for shading. So I'm bringing you back to the beginning portrait, which is straightforward because we're going to use this as our base to practice some shading. So at this point, I usually remove the structural lines that helped us place the features in the first place using your putty eraser or the paintbrush. And then we start to go in and redefine the shapes. Now, I'm not <laughs> drawing a perfect portrait here, but just using this as a, as a simple exercise to help you see how, how it starts. So I'm using the putty eraser to remove sections of the eyes and the charcoal that I don't want. And when I'm quite happy with the shape, I'll go in with a charcoal pencil and more gently draw the line of the eyes. And I'm using my paintbrush here to soften out excess uh, charcoal because the willow charcoal is quite soft and, and chunky. So it gives me these thick lines that I don't really want. It's very soft, so you can just rub it out with a paintbrush. And going around the iris with the charcoal pencil to place it in more solidly and adding the pupil there. Now we have the, the eyelid and usually in the corner of the eye it's, it's very dark because it's like a little concave shape in the eye so it's going to be darker and it helps us create some contrast so plenty of dark charcoal around the eyes. And you can use your blending stick to blend this charcoal out and it will blend it very smoothly, which is helpful for skin and creating shadows all around the eye. This is gonna be darker to create that sunken um, three-dimensional look. And again, when I'm happy with the shapes, like with the nose and the nostrils, I'm gonna use my charcoal pencil to draw in the shapes more heavily and the blending stick will help me smooth those out and create the shadows and the shapes of the nose. And all of this soft blended charcoal is from the willow charcoal which is very soft which is why it looks so smoky. This is willow charcoal again and I'm just using my fingers. You can also use tissue paper. And doing the same with the lips, going in with a charcoal pencil to redefine the lines more heavily and then blending with a blending stick. And at this point, you can take your putty eraser and start removing some highlights. For example, on the bottom lip. And now I'm just filling in the bulk of the skin around the mouth and the cheeks, just to smooth it all out because the whole face needs a tone over the over the forehead as well. And now I'm gonna do the same, take the putty eraser around highlighted areas like the eyebrows and the cheekbones above the lips and the chin and the forehead. It's usually where the main highlights occur. Using my charcoal pencil to draw in some eyebrows. And I will continue using my charcoal pencil to start adding in some further shadows. So you can go back and forth between highlights and shadows. I don't really have a set system for this. I sort of flip back and forth between the two. And yeah, you can just choose which section you want to focus on next. So, of course, like inside the eyes, it's going to be darker. 
usually down the side of the the head there next to the eye it's darker and you can use a combination of the blending stick and your finger to smooth out the shadows and I'm just doing this quickly to show you so you get an idea of how it works and under the eye and up into the forehead and then those highlights that you've pulled out with the putty eraser of course they're quite rough the shapes so you can soften them out at the edges with your finger or a tissue or a paintbrush under the nose and then the nose will have some shadows like that to create that little round button shape at the end of the nose re-smoothing, redefining over and over under the chin uh, under the mouth, <laughs> on the chin and again smoothing out some of those highlights that look too um, to blunt and you can go in and redefine other little sections in the eyes there's usually some shadowing between the side of the face and the mouth and some highlights above the eyebrow on the brow line the brow bone and I I kind of removed some of these highlights by accident because willow charcoal is so soft that tends to happen so you're sort of putting in and pulling back out and then pulling putting back in again between shadow and highlight until you're happy with it redefine the mouth a bit more Especially in the corners, in the corner of the lips, there's going to be some shadows under the mouth. Again, using the blending stick to smooth all of these shadows together. And I'm just going to be repeating all of these things that I've shown you until I'm happy with it. Moving around the face between putty eraser, blending stick, and willow charcoal, and charcoal pencil that you get the idea of how it's coming together and at this point I'm going to add in the ears which again are between the eye and the nose and you can just check the height between them if they're at the same height and shade them in the side of the face between the ear and the cheek is usually a bit darker it doesn't have to look like sideburns <laughs> which mine do at the moment but it's just a starting point to blend into the ears and down the side of the face because as the side of the head is disappearing from our eye that part's got to be darker take your putty eraser to remove some highlights particularly at the top of the ear and often at the side of course it depends on the image and the portrait you're using but this is just a general general example and we'll do the same on the other side using the finger, the blending stick, the willow charcoal and you can even blend over the edge of the line like I've done there on the left hand side um, if you blend over the line then you can erase around the edge or shade around the edge just to give them more give them give a more three-dimensional look and essentially remove some of the charcoal line to give it more of a three-dimensional effect I'm just cleaning the side of the paper a little bit get rid of all those smudgy finger marks and adding some final touches to the lips and any part that's really sticking out relifting some of those highlights again smoothing them with my finger and there you have a simple shaded portrait. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. And if you would like to see more of these videos every week, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you would like to request a specific tutorial, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I'd be more than happy to make that for you. So until next time, take care everyone and see you soon.